Well, just in time for Christmas, there is a brand new Nintendo Switch eShop sale going on that we have to hop into, break down, and discuss all of the various different games that are discounted, and I want to share my personal opinions on which of these titles may be worth taking a second look at if you haven't already right now. What's up, Nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Summer Nation by subscribing below. Hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon. You're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. And as I mentioned, guys, today we are checking out Nintendo's latest eShop sale, and the brand new one is focused on Indie World titles. As you can see, Indie World Holiday Sale save up to 50% off, and this sale ends on January 1st. However, don't be deterred by the word Indie because while you can't expect things like Mario, Zeldas, and all of Nintendo's major first-party franchises to be on this list, there is actually a ton of really quality Nintendo Switch titles that I believe are worth picking up or at least taking a look into, some of which you can just check out demos or reviews online ahead of their purchase. But number one on the list is Golf Story. And if you guys haven't been keeping up with all of the massive hype online around Sports Story that just dropped on the eShop yesterday, this one is the original game, all based around golf but with some really cool RPG elements and kind of a love letter to that 16-bit SNES era of gaming, but with a really unique and compelling story all throughout. And this game right now is 53% off or $6.99 on the Nintendo Switch eShop. So if you're not sure about Sports Story and paying the full regular retail price of this, check out the first iteration, Golf Story, which was originally launched in 2017. So good discount on that one. That's one that's not typically on the discount list. Shovel Knight Dig. This is... I'm a big fan of Shovel Knight. I have not played Shovel Knight Dig, but my understanding is, is that it is a new chapter in the story of Shovel Knight games and expanding upon the original gameplay mechanics with very similar gameplay loops from the looks of the trailers. And I will tell Metroidvania fans, as well as kind of a hint of Mega Man style gameplay thrown in there with some really cool platforming elements, action, hack and slash style gameplay and super fun boss fights throughout. As I mentioned, I haven't played this iteration, but I was such a huge fan of Shovel Knight, the original. I even picked up Shovel Knight Treasure Trove on the Switch physically for my collection. So definitely one to potentially consider on today's list, although it is definitely a smaller discount at just 10% off or a $2 savings roughly from its regular $24.99 retail coming in at $22.49. Neon White is one that we saw a lot of hype around online with this game originally launched. It's a first person action adventure style game with some platforming elements and also a really unique card mechanic that I don't fully understand myself. I never picked this one up, but it is $5 off or $19.99 on the eShop. Tormented Souls right now is marked down 25% off, $5 off of its regular $20 price at $14.99. Cuphead, this is a big one for me because Cuphead was so much fun and it is a game that I was immediately immersed in when it was originally released. It has such a cool, unique 1930s animated hand-drawn cartoon style graphical presentation that you won't see anywhere else. It is such a cool take on how to create a art style for a video game and don't let the happy-go-lucky smiling characters fool you. This game is one of the hardest 2D action adventure platformers I have played ever and it literally takes a try and try and fail and try again approach to master the boss fights and the levels throughout it is a ton of fun to do a couch co-op side by side with a friend and traverse through the levels in Cuphead this also comes with the delicious last course which is the DLC expansion for Cuphead which I've actually not gotten a chance to play through all the way yet so that is a reminder for me but this bundle pack where you get everything it has to offer is $19.70 or 27% off. Now, TMNT Shredder's Revenge, we just talked about this being on sale physically in a previous sale video at some of the different retailers right now. This, if you want to pick it up on the eShop, if you are a Turtles in Time fan from that SNES era or just even the throwback arcade style gameplay, especially if you can get some friends together and play this thing in up to six player co-op, which is quite honestly chaotic if you go to that level of players on screen. But this is just a classic Turtles style game 
at its finest with updated graphics, but still a throwback to that retro classic style. And while it's not a groundbreaking discount at 20% off or $19.99 right now, that is a steal and a pickup in my opinion that you have to have in your Nintendo Switch library at some point in time, especially if you like hack and slash classical arcade style turtles fighters. Kentucky Route Zero TV Edition, zero clue what that game is, and multiple of these I won't have a lot to say on, so I'll let you guys do your own research and kind of rattle off the names. Uh, the Return of the Obra Din, I'm not sure what that is, 30% off, $13.99 right now. And then you have Ooblets at $19.99 or 33% off. Don't Starve Together at $11.99 instead of its $14.99 regular. Chris Tales at $7.99 or 80% off, so definitely one of the steeper discounts on today's list. And I'll at least have the gameplay trailer for you guys up on that one so you can see if it's your style of game to look into because that's at least one of the best discounts that we have to shout out as part of this sale as many other games on the list don't go anywhere near that level of a discount cozy and grove at 893 right now or 40 percent off its regular retail axiom verge one and two these are both fantastic games and ones that you should look into adding into your library you get the bundle pack of both at 40 percent off right now and i think you could refer to these as a fantasy sci-fi metroidvania inspired style game it is really cool the amount of support we have for titles that fit this genre now we may not get as many mainline installments in the metroidvania style game series that it's named after like your castlevanias and your metroid but at least the indie developers are helping pump out more content for players that enjoy that genre of video game, which I am definitely one of. So 40% off $23.98 for both Axiom Verge 1 and 2, a pretty good value on today's list. Unpacking, I'm assuming it's like an unpacking, you just move type of simulator. I can't imagine picking that up, but it's out there for anyone who's interested. Uh, Shantae, Half Genie Hero, that is half price right now at $9.99 as opposed to its $20 regular retail. Slay the Spire at $9.99 or 60% off its regular retail. Wind Jammers 2, this is one that I saw trailers for but never got around to looking into. To, but it's the sequel to the Neo Geo Windjammers from way back in the day. So if you have nostalgia for that one, it might be worth looking into adding this one to your collection at 30% off or $13.99 right now. Moon at $13.29 right now, 30% off. You have Nobody Saves the World plus Frozen Hearth Bundle at $19.59, 30% off right now. Bug Snacks, which is actually a lot of fun and a really unique creative game with a truly like one of a kind art and animation style but it's one that you'll have to look into on your own if you want to get into a almost a Pokemon Snap type of gameplay loop. Then you have a Hat in Time Ultimate Edition, 50% off right now, $18.49. Loop Hero, a roguelike RPG, but people who play it and are fans of it claim that it has a really unique gameplay experience that you really just have to dive into for yourself to fully understand. So that one at $7.49 may be worth looking into adding to your library. Blunky is one that I'm not familiar with, but I have seen a lot of people in the comments mention the quality of this game. So one that while it's half off, I may pick up for my personal collection so I can see what some of the talk is about. Risk of Rain 2 at 75% off or 624 right now. So again, one of the steeper discounts. And we have a uh, garden story at half price overland at half price also both 9.99 games then you have honor to lose your head deluxe bundle at 6.99 or 65 percent off wonder boy the dragon's trap at 60 percent off or 7.99 art of rally 40 percent off at 14.99 right now unsighted at 11.99 or 40 percent off its regular retail castle crashers remastered 50% off one that I played like shortly after this game release and another really fun couch co-op game to go through with friends recommend playing it as a four player group it is a lot of fun really cool boss battles hack and slash style gameplay but with really cool fun unique weapons that you can upgrade along the way as well boomerang foo at 8.99 or 40 percent off its regular retail i was a teenage exo colonist at 20 percent off or five dollars off its regular retail not sure what that game is at all rain world uh, coming in at 8.99 or 55 percent off its regular retail and then minoria it's finally closing out our list at 7.99 or 60 percent off its regular retail now i will have the sales and deals page linked in the description down below in this video if you do want to look into any of the other 
other sales going on because there's also like a smaller indie celebration holiday sale. There's the Warner Brothers game sale going on right now. Square Enix is having a big winter sale until the 29th of this month. And that's one especially for RPG fans that are likely you're going to find some stuff that you might want to look in into adding into your collection and then even bandai namco having a massive sale also until january 1st with a lot of their classic ip on discount right now and finally the ubisoft sale is going on until january 3rd and that you can even pick up big games like mario rabbit sparks of hope that just launched recently digitally for $44.99 instead of its $60 regular retail, as well as many others. Capcom's having a massive holiday sale as well. So you get the idea. There's a lot of different games that you can look into from the list uh, here. And again, you can do some of your own research on this stuff. Many of the games that are on the other developer sales, we have made previous videos on, but there are some good prices out there. So I want to hear from you guys at this point in the video. If you're planning on picking up any new games and adding them into your Switch collection, are you spending some of your Christmas money that way? Also, Merry Christmas to all of those who celebrate it. And I do hope that you have a very fun day off and some relaxation with your friends and family. I won't be posting a video tomorrow. So again, Merry Christmas to all of you out there that celebrate. And I hope that you have a great one. Please make sure you share all your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today in the comments down below before you leave the video, as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics. Go watch yesterday's video next if you haven't already, which is on screen right now. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.